Welcome to week one, episode one of Facebook Ads Friday. This is going to be a new series where every single week we take a look at two different six-figure Facebook ads. If you're new to Shopify dropshipping, then this series is going to be really valuable to you because in every episode, we're going to be looking at two tried and tested proven products. Not only will you get to see the products, but you'll get to see everything else behind them as well. So you may have heard me say in past videos that every successful Shopify business does three things really, really well. They have a great product, which you're going to be finding in this video. They have a great Facebook ad creative, which you're going to be finding in this video. And they also have a great Shopify store, a great platform for people to buy on which you're also going to be seeing in this video so if you're looking for a product to put your time and effort into and commit then i highly suggest that you try out one of the products that you see in this series thanks for tuning in and let's jump straight into the first facebook ad so this first ad i'm going to be showing you is definitely one of my favorite ones it's an image ad which you'll get to see in a second which is interesting image ads back in the day so when i first started facebook ads five six years ago image ads they weren't really, they didn't have the power which they do today. It was all about videos. Everybody ran videos, videos got more engagement, they got more attention, they were just more successful. But time and time again now, I start to see image ads cropping up. I've run some tests over the last kind of few months and the CPMs you get on image ads are so cheap, they're definitely worth experimenting with if you've not been able to make videos work. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the data and information behind this ad. We can see the post creation date was Wednesday, May 25th of this year. The first seen date, so I believe this is when this was first ran as an ad, was July 23rd. And the last seen date was September 28th. So this ad has been running for approximately two months, which indicates that it should be profitable, must be profitable. Nobody pays to run Facebook ads which aren't profitable. You don't need to run them for two months to find that out. The reactions, the engagement on the ad are really good as well. We can see 12,000 likes, 3,000 love hearts a thousand shares, which is really good. Shares are really, really powerful when it comes to Facebook ads. Every time somebody shares your ad, you get that extra reach for free. It's called organic reach. And they also have 2000 comments. The comments is where the proof is in the pudding, if you like. When you're trying to make a judgment about a particular product, if you can find the actual ad on Facebook, look at the comments and the proof is in the pudding. The comments will tell you whether it's a good product or not. And I'll show you in a second why that's so important. So as for the ad itself, this is it. It's just a single still image demonstrating the product in its full effect of its in its habitat and its natural habitat in somebody's house on the wall of how it's meant to be used and the great effects that it can have. If you've been watching my last few videos, in one of my videos, which was called um, Three Easy Niches, I believe one of them was the LED niche. It's because of the wow factor that LED products carry. And it just goes to show you just need a single image to really put across a powerful, um, enticing, engaging image that people wanna stop and look at um, and click on and buy. So this is an ad by a company called Twinkling Tree. Um, they're not a new kid on the block. They've been going for quite a while. They are drop shipping and they use the same text creative. They use the same text at the top above the actual visual every single time for every single product which they advertise. So it just goes to show if something isn't broken, don't fix it. If you're looking to sell this product or a similar product, take some inspiration from what you can see here. Moving down into the engagement and comments then, like I mentioned earlier, the proof of the pudding is definitely in the comments. We're gonna go for most relevant and then we're also gonna check most recent as well. Two important things to do because in the most relevant, you'll see the ones that are getting people's reactions. This will typically be people who have commented something um, of relevance and something of value which we can use to determine whether it's a good product or not. So let's just have a scroll through and see what kind of things that we can see. So Nikki Vaughan posts, I have this and looks lovely on my wall. So straight away, there's one person who's bought this product. Um, Rachel says, so beautiful, my little daughter is a willow. She would love this in her room. So somebody who likes the product which is good, it's ideal, but ultimately we're looking for people who take action. Liking a product and buying a product is two different things. This absolute gorgeous tree is beautifully crafted and I'm buying one too. So that's kind of somebody who's definitely gonna buy 
a purchase. Just ordered this. That's somebody else who's bought one. This person says they'd love a solar one. Julie said she bought this. Gina said her tree arrived today. So people are buying this product. There's no argument. People are buying this product. So if you're looking for a tried and tested proven product that will sell from day one, then this is definitely a good product to consider. Now, if we check out the newest comments, this is important to do because if you go to newest and the most recent comment was from six weeks ago, then it's not currently being ran, it's not currently active. It could be out of date, it could be out of trend, so steer well clear. But as we can see here, the last comment was from seven minutes ago, four hours ago, two days, one day, seven hours, two days, five weeks. So sometimes if somebody posts a comment, say six weeks ago, and then somebody replies to it today, then that will bump up the list. That's why they're not necessarily in time order. This one's 16 hours, one day, one day, two days, so on and so forth. So this person here as well ordered it yesterday. So just goes to show such a great product, definitely a good one to consider. Just to show you where you can get this product from as well. I honestly think this took me probably 20 minutes to find on AliExpress. It was a right pain to try and find. What you need to search for is this here. You can see here, I probably wouldn't go with this supplier. In fact, I'd probably approach an agent or even CJ Dropshipping um, and see if these guys can source the products for you. Another real big positive about this product is when it comes to building out the actual creatives. There's so many images like this which you can use as your creative. It's super cheap, it's super fast to get started with um, and super effective as well. Moving on to product number two, this is kind of like a wild card product. It's aimed at the Halloween audience. There are lots of people out there who like to build one-off stores, capitalize on a certain time of year or event or occasion. Um, and this would make the perfect product to do so. It's new for 2022, I believe. Um, and it's definitely a great product uh, for the following reasons. So it's relatively new in terms of when it's been posted. But the reason why I wanted to put it in this video is because of the reactions and engagement it's got in such a short time. It just goes to show how much people are actually loving this product. So it's first seen only a couple of weeks ago, still being seen today, so still being ran. And if we take a look at the reactions down here, we can see 8,000 likes, 600 love hearts, 1,000 shares, um, and nearly a thousand comments too. Let's take a look at the actual ad itself then. It is a video, um, a super brief video. If I can, let's go back actually. Uh, so we can see the comments. Super brief video, so it's only 13 seconds long. I'd be surprised if the people selling this product are the people in the product. They may have just, um, this looks like kind of stock footage to be honest from an AliExpress supplier. Even so, they may have just ordered one themselves and simply just filmed themselves on a mobile phone, on an iPhone, just twisting their head, demonstrating how the product works. It's a pretty cool product to be honest, and I can see it being a really good seller um, as we come closer to Halloween. Something to point out, these guys are advertising expedited shipping in three to five days. Now, I haven't looked into this company. Some people port three to five days and that's their actual processing time and not the actual delivery time. Um, so I'd have to double check that. If they are getting it to people's doorsteps in three to five days, they are selling to the US. It could be because there are agents um, such as CJ Dropshipping or others um, which are actually stocking this product because they're gearing it up or maybe it's already popular so they're already starting to stock it in kind of westernized countries so they can offer that quicker delivery. Moving down then just to check the comments out remember we're looking for people to say they've actually bought one because then the proof is in the pudding and I've said that about 10 times this video but that is what you're looking for when you're going to commit to a product. If you're going to test a product and commit hundreds of pounds to see if it's going to work then you want to make sure that you're picking the right one. So let's take a look at the most relevant comments. We're going to need one of these. Um, people posting funny things, GIFs, uh, love it, want one. Yes, I want one. Perfect Scorpion mask, I want one, I want one, I need one of these. So loads and loads of people are saying they actually want one, but what we're looking for is for somebody who's actually bought one. Ghost Rider, make it glow. I just ordered two, so less than 24 hours ago, somebody just ordered two, so this is a really good sign. Something about sizing, do they come in different sizes? So what you wanna do is, as a business, is listen and make sure you keep up to date with the comments people are putting on your Facebook ad. It looks really good if you can give them a real human response and even start talking to some of your customers in the comments about what they like about the product or whatever it may be because anybody who then comes across the ad sees you engaging, sees you coming across as a professional company, it's definitely gonna help them trust you and 
and kind of help tip them over into becoming a customer. Because there's a few different people commenting about sizes, this is something I would definitely have on the actual website somewhere near the top because that's obviously a hesitation or question people are having and people won't necessarily risk it. They'll want their questions answered before they make a purchase. So if you can answer all of those questions, so by the time they're finished consuming the product page, they have no reason not to buy, um, then you're more likely to convert them obviously into a customer. So this is the link where it takes you for this particular product. What they've done is they've basically rebranded their store to make it look like a Halloween store. It's still called um, Bed Uvely, Badoovely, um, but all they've done is change the logo and make it look like a one product store. So this is all they're selling. They've not even gone to the extent of changing up the domain. Just goes to show though, it is effective. This is a strategy that lots of people adopt. Um, and lots of people wouldn't do it if it didn't work. They have what looks like a real customized, um, custom um, tailored product page, probably created using something like Gem Pages, which is a brilliant, brilliant app. They've got a GIF at the top, which just says everything there is to know really about the product other than what sizes does it come in, obviously. Um, and then they've got all like different kind of pieces of relevant information and cool images um, and different applications for. I can definitely see somebody buying this so they can ride around on their bike on it. They have this um, bulk kind of purchase offer, which I've seen more and more lately. For something like this, maybe not too relevant. Um, however, it doesn't hurt to have it on there. Happy customers. They don't have anything about contact information, nothing like that. They could definitely improve the conversion rate of this store by making it a bit more traditional. Rather than like a landing page and a funnel, having it a bit more like a, an actual store which has contact information, that sort of thing, I'm sure could do them no harm. As for the product on AliExpress then, this is one of the first listings I've found. Uh, make sure you do your due diligence, due diligence when it comes to picking the actual supplier itself. Um, you can get it shipped to the UK for £10 um, with free shipping. There's a couple of different variations. This is what you need to be looking for um, when you go out there and find suppliers. And like I've mentioned previously, make sure you check out other agents such as CJ Dropshipping. And so with that being said, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stuck with me this long. If you enjoyed it and want to see next week's episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, drop a like if you enjoyed it too. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.